Tonight, our Erie News Now crew in Poland is wrapping up more than a week-long stint of coverage on the crisis in Ukraine and the impact of those seeking shelter and safety. They have shared stories from refugees, people in Poland opening up their homes, and the numerous amount of volunteers. But they couldn't have brought you these stories without some additional help. Our reporter Rachel Knapp has more from Warsaw. She definitely hopes to go back home once she can. You might be familiar with the sound of her voice. It took us two days to go from Kharkiv over to Lviv. And you might have spotted her standing close by during an interview along the Ukraine border, a train station in Krakow, or on the streets in Old Town, Warsaw. That's Ina Zaripova, our translator. She speaks five languages, including Ukrainian, Russian, and Polish. The Erie-based company Logistics Plus put us in contact with her to help us with our coverage in Poland, patiently listening to our questions, relaying them to the refugees, and translating on the spot their message back to us. Just like with our crew covering the refugee crisis, she hasn't worked on a project of this magnitude before. I was definitely nervous about it, just to make sure that I translate everything um, and then that you have the material to work for, <laughs> work with, um, and then so you could so you could share the stories of people as accurate as possible. It's translators like Ina that help us and other journalists make sure information about what's happening in Ukraine is shared around the world. It's definitely hard, uh, especially uh, there were a couple of moments I had to hold back my tears uh, because whatever that is going on right now in Ukraine is heartbreaking, and there are in innocent people, civilians that right now don't have a home, but at the same time I feel like how important it is to share their stories and just to show to the world that this war is definitely was unprovoked and they people like don't deserve whatever that they got from Russia. Ina also has a personal connection to the war in Ukraine. Like many of the refugees who we spoke with who have had to flee the country, Ina's father is also in Ukraine. He has been in the city that it hasn't had electricity or water in almost two weeks now. Um, we are very lucky that he was able to charge his phone either like from solar panels or whatever he could find. So at least I could have a text from him that he is okay. For his safety, she didn't want us to share which city her dad is in. You leave you for the moment when you receive text or even like a brief call from your dad saying that he's alive and then he has water, you know, that's hasn't been easy. With the stories of Ukrainian refugees Ines has helped us share, she hopes sharing her own family's experience will help people understand the devastation this war has brought and help continue the international support for Ukraine. I just really hope this whole nightmare will be um, gone soon so people can go back home and live their lives. Reporting from Warsaw, Poland, Rachel Knapp, Erie News Now. So many great stories over the past week or so uh, coming from our crew there, and uh, they're all so heartfelt. So uh, we appreciate, so. of course, that story of uh, the helping hand that our Erie News Now team was getting. Very emotional over the last 10 days. And President